Hey, roofing contractors out there. On my way to my next appointment, uh, inspecting a, a house, fairly large house, that has <clears throat> not only roof damage, um, siding damage, has got uh, hail hits on the fencing, uh, also has pretty significant amount of hail hits on the HVAC condenser unit outside. There's three of them. They're five ton units. Now, <clears throat> a lot of people don't know this, but um, uh, adjusters will uh, just put in for combing the fins. And I think they cost with a trip charge like $100, $150 per um, comb with the trip charge. Well, I don't know if you know this, but um, you could get those HVAC units replaced, the condensers units outside replaced. And how are you going to do that? Well, you get a uh, HVAC company to come out and uh, to uh, do a repair on see if they can repair the fins just like a radiator on your car and if those things are crimped and they can't be straightened out to where they um, will affect the lifespan of the uh, the unit then uh, you can have with a detailed description of why the uh, uh, HVAC company cannot uh, repair it and it has to be replaced um, <clears throat> And don't put any um, break out any numbers or anything like that um, but you could just have a total number at the bottom of their estimate and you take that document and you send that over to the inside adjuster not the field adjuster the inside adjuster uh, to let them know that you can't repair this just by combs just combing out the fins and that's how you get the AC uh, condensers paid for replaced now plus if you get it replaced now there's an issue could potentially an issue if the uh, um, inside coils uh, in the um, coolant inside that, that AC uh, system if it is the old uh, coolant system that has been uh, outlawed well guess what well, not only do they have to replace the uh, AC unit outside, the condensing unit, they have to replace the inside coil unit and the line set. Update all of that because of uh, the, uh, the new uh, cooling system that they, uh, our government has initiated and uh, pass a law saying that you cannot no longer use this discontinued cooling system. Um, I, I don't remember off the top of my head what uh, uh, the, cool, the name of the cooling system that's been discontinued, but I do know that uh, we've been able to uh, get our clients uh, to uh, uh, get a complete system replaced for their customers just because the coils and, I'm sorry, just because the fins were um, not repairable. And that's another thing, too, um, a good way to get overhead and profit if uh, you uh, just have a, a, a roof um, uh, paid for by the, the, uh, the insurance company and just gutters and they won't put overhead and profit. Well, now the level of uh, work that you have to uh, put into it and coordination uh, to get all of these subcontractors uh, to do all this work, now it has reached that level of, uh, <clears throat> what do they call it, a level of um, expected uh, work to incur overhead and profit. And that's a good way to get the carrier to include overhead and profit now. Um, but I've heard, you know, I've heard uh, some of my clients say, well, Brian, man, we don't want to wait for that long to get that, that work done. It doesn't take that long to get that work done. And since I was able to get 
the gains from their initial work, the, the roof, the gutters, the downspouts, screens, siding, painting, whatever it may be, uh, additional gains to their first uh, estimate and get that depreciation released before the repairs, they're not having to wait on any money or funds. Um, uh, the only thing they're waiting on is possibly to get the, uh, the repairs done on the HVAC work. So they're not held up. And uh, because a lot of my clients are like, Brian, we're just, we need the cash. Well, you don't have to worry uh, about uh, cash flow now because I got the depreciation released for you before the repairs. So there's no reason why you cannot get your customer a new AC condenser unit outside replaced And uh, so that is the best way to get that work completed.